Hey guys, I'm going to be talking to you today about this smoky purple eye look. Um, it's very, very easy and affordable to recreate. And um, I just think it's a very good um, alternative to the traditional gray smoky eye, which I will be doing uh, fairly soon here. But um, this is just another way to use those purples in your collection. And so if you want to learn how to do it, just keep on watching. So it's what I'm going to use are some colors from Sally Girl. These are 99 cent colors, 89 cents with your Sally's card. And I'm going to start out with this color in the middle here. The, the cool thing about these, if you haven't seen these yet, is that they're detachable. So they like run on this little bitty track sort of thing. Oops, how do I get that there? And they, they, they click together. So you can create your own palette, basically, as many colors as you want. So I'm going to use this lilac shade here. It's kind of a sparkly light purple, very, very pretty shade. And I'm going to, I've already put a primer, my Mary Kay Eye Primer, on this eye. And so I'm going to just go ahead and put on the purple just all over the lid. Just work it on there. This isn't meant to be a, the real bold part of it, and I'm and it, it isn't like screaming at you purple. It's kind of like a deep, uh, plum look. So keep that in mind. You know this this isn't really colorful purple. It's almost uh, smoky yet more natural. And now the shade right next to that that I've purchased is eggplant, and that is a. There's really not, there's hardly any shimmer to that. It's just a deep purple, but it's not incredibly dark. So I'm going to just uh, dip my contour brush into that and go just kind of back and forth over the entire uh, crease area. And just go over it real lightly because we're going to build up our intensity with another shade. But this is just kind of laying the foundation for that. Okay, this would be a great stopping point if you want something a little more natural. If you want, if you know you don't want the shadow look to be quite as intense. Now we're going to set the Sally Girl shades aside for a while. And we're going to move over to our L'Oreal Hip Duo. And this is in Cheeky. And what you've got here is kind of a shimmery um, kind of magenta shade and then a shimmery deep plum. I don't know if that's coming off a little bit brown, but it's actually a, a plum color. So I'm going to dip a small uh, contour brush into that plum and concentrate just on the outer part of my crease here. Just kind of putting that color right in the crease and working it out ever so slightly. See how it's really getting that smoky effect right now? And just keep looking, I mean, over at your other eye, obviously you're probably not using this method where you do one eye at a time, so it's a little easier to be even with what you're doing, but, but there you can see just building up the intensity right there in the corner and as you close your eye you can you can see how that comes off I'm not very good at winking with that one eye so that's okay though alright so you've used that then this pink color I don't want to leave this out because it can it has some just a really pretty look to it so I'm just going to take an eyeshadow brush into the pink and kind of create just kind of overlap what I just did there with just a little bit of pink shade just it, in person I think it really it really kind of warms up the look makes it even a little more natural if that's what you're going for and then we're going to do um, a highlight and I'm just going to use this other color I had with my Sally Girl shades it's in coral and what you got here is sorry if it's not showing up it's kind of a there you go that's sort of the shade we're looking at it's like a light shimmery uh, peachy pink and this is just going to act as our highlight so just kind of get it all over up here and have a little bit of a shimmer to it alright next we're going to move on to our liner and we're going to use a new liner that I've got that I'm kind of excited about it's from Revlon Colors today and it's in Blackberry 
So it's kind of a, you know, smoky plum shade. I really, really like it. And I'm just going to go all over, actually, my entire, um, all the way around with this. So I'm going to start right here in the in the co inner corner. And I'm going to be getting kind of close because I need to get close to my mirror. But just use small strokes. I'm actually going to use my little bitty mirror and kind of look down into it so maybe you can see better. And I'm trying to just stay extremely close to the lash line because kind of smudging it there close to the to your lash line almost makes your eyelashes look thicker once you put your mascara on. Okay. So basically got this extending it all the way to the outer corner and then we're going to go underneath as well. So just kind of look down in, into a mirror is what helps me. And I'm starting at the very inner corner. And this is going to be very easy to achieve that smoky look with this shade. It just kind of lends itself to that. It's not quite as stark as black. It doesn't create as much contrast with your skin as, as black does. So be careful to make sure you're connecting there at the corner. If it doesn't look just right with your liner, that's okay. We're going to get a smudge tip and kind of smudge that out. Actually smudging the entire area we've done just to achieve the smoky eye. So put the eyeliner aside and get, if you have a smudge tip like this, sometimes it comes on the ends of some eyeliners. And we're just going to basically soften the color and help blend our outer corners together. I'm not going to really do too much to the upper lash line. I, I still want to keep having some intensity there, but but there you go. There's that part of the part of the look. We're almost done. I'm going to curl my eyelashes, and be sure to always when you curl, tilt up. That's how you really get the lift with your uh, eyelashes. And I hold for about 15 seconds, and if you are thinking about it, kind of lift, um, lift up on it and move it towards the ends of your lashes for a nice curl. I'm going to use my Volume Exact Mascara from CoverGirl, and I'm going to use my mirror again. And I like to look down into something so I can kind of make sure I'm getting every lash. <laughs> And I just kind of zigzag from the root to the tip of the eyelash. I like this mascara a little better than the Lash Blast. I don't know if I've mentioned that before, but it just, I feel like it creates even more volume. And I'm just going to go on for a second coat here. And there you go. There's a beautiful uh, purple smoky eye, kind of a plum smoky eye that you can just pretty much take just about anywhere. It's got a nice level of intensity, not too loud, and hopefully this gives you some ideas for how to use your uh, purple and plum eyeshadows. Thanks for watching.